recording already. <gasps> oh no! It is hey. recording. <laughs> <laughs> You're so little though, like I'm gonna have to hold it I like know, this. I'm so short. <laughs> I'm sorry guys for being so short. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jordan and I'm the other author of Vitabella.com. So we are out here in this beautiful day. I don't know why I'm explaining all this. Where are we walking to? And we're going to this restaurant. They have some vegan options. Wait. My name is Jordan and I am the other author of Beatabella.com. So I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about my journey and what really started me going from a straight sugar diet <laughs> to a healthy, raw, for the most part, diet. Um, I've always loved sugar, always loved anything that had the word junk in front of it, um, wasn't healthy for you. And I never felt like I really had to worry about it either um, because I was always very small. I think I weighed just about the same thing from the time I was in junior high school. So anyways, eventually your body is going to, as Lara put it, give you a bill and say, all right, you've charged this much, now it's time to pay up. Um, I developed hypoglycemia and endometriosis when I was in my teenage years. Um, I didn't have a history of endometriosis in my family um, that I knew of at the time. And both of these diseases can be brought on by your eating habits and by how you take care of yourself. So I tried different medicines um, and things like that and it didn't really get me anywhere. I didn't want to have to take a prescription for the rest of my life. So I started looking at a healthier alternative to taking care of yourself. I ended up finding a holistic nutritionist who put me on what's called alkaline diet, which is basically just food that grows, not eating junk, um, things like that. So after about 30 days of doing that, I noticed that my pain started to go away. I didn't have as much stabbing pain um, in my stomach and my sugar started to be better balanced. Now a lot of this stuff I'm still dealing with so it's not completely gone, um, but it's something that I'm working towards and something that I know one day will be accomplished. So I was lucky enough to meet this wonderful lady right here who has been a huge help and encouragement to me on my diet. I don't think I could have done it without her because everybody wants to take care of themselves I think in their heart and in their minds, but for whatever reason, even the people closest to you, when you start making this change, aren't necessarily going to support it 100%, whether they mean to or not. So like I said in the introduction section, um, I put in there that people would leave ice cream on my front porch, and they did. So <laughs> they had good intentions, you know, eat some ice cream, indulge every now and then, uh, treat yourself, but this is what I like to treat myself with now. This chocolate, Healthy I already chocolates. started opening it. Yes. Sorry, I just can't resist it, I need to get it. <laughs> So this is actually, it doesn't have any sugar in it. I've always loved sugar, like I was saying, um, but there are healthier, and <laughs> take a look in there. Yes, Let's check this out. Like no sugars. Yeah, so this is made a lot better than traditional chocolate. So I can still have a sweet treat every now and then and not feel guilty about it. And to me, that's absolutely wonderful. So. You can change your diet, you can change your lifestyle. Um, read my introduction for more, but this is just a little quick take on my journey and what got me from A to B, from Cheetos to carrot sticks. 